The Wolf and the Seven Little Kids Written by the Brothers Grimm Adapted by Ashley Parker Illustrated by Sam Liu Once there was an old goat named Mrs. Pearl who took care of seven young goats Joy, Josh, Jennifer, Julia, John, James, and Jack. She loved them with all her heart. Every Tuesday, she went to the farmer's market. Before she left, she told them, Look out for Ralph the wolf. He will disguise himself and try to trick you into letting him in. You are all smart, so I know you will notice his rough voice and black feet. Her children replied, Dear Mother, we will take care of ourselves. Do not worry about us. Hearing that, Mrs. Pearl left, knowing she did not need to be concerned. It was not long before someone knocked at the door and called, Open the door! Your mother is here and has brought something back for each of you. The children heard the rough voice and knew it was Ralph the wolf. We will not let you in, they cried. You are not our mother. She has a soft, pleasant voice. Your voice is rough. You are the wolf. So Ralph went away and asked the shopkeeper for a lump of chalk. He knew that if he ate it, his voice would be soft. Ralph then went back to Mrs. Pearl's house and knocked at the door. Open the door, he called softly. Your mother is here and has brought something for each of you. But Ralph was not clever enough and he put his black paws against the window. The children saw them and cried, We will not let you in. Our mother does not have black feet. You are the wolf. Ralph then ran to the baker and said, I have hurt my feet. Rub some dough over them for me. The baker did as Ralph asked. Next, he told the baker, Pour some flour over my feet. The baker thought these were strange requests, and he refused. He had a feeling that Ralph was using the dough and flour to disguise himself so he could trick someone. Ralph warned him, If you will not do it, I will make sure no one will ever buy bread from you again. The baker was afraid of this, so he made Ralph's paws white. For the third time, Ralph went to Mrs. Pearl's house and knocked on the door. With his soft voice, he said, Open the door for me, children. Your dear mother has finally come home and has brought something back for everyone from the farmer's market. The children replied, First, show us your paws, so we will know if you are really our mother. Ralph put his paws in the window. When the children saw that they were white, they believed that he was telling the truth and opened the door. They could not believe their eyes when they saw Ralph. Terrified, they hid. John sprang under the table. Julia crawled under the bed. Josh leaped into the stove. James followed Josh into the kitchen. Jennifer jumped into the cupboard. Joy snuck under the sink. And Jack hid inside the clock. The wolf looked for them everywhere, but his eyesight was poor, and he could not find any of them. While he wandered around the house, Mrs. Pearl came home and saw the mess the wolf had made in his search for the children. The table, chairs, and benches were knocked over. The sink was broken, and the quilts and pillows were all over the floor. She did not see any of the children, and she was terrified. Had the wolf taken them?
Mrs. Pearl called out their names. No one answered until she came to the youngest, and Jack cried, I'm in the clock. She pulled him out, and he told her that the wolf was in the house. By then, the wolf had gone outside into the garden. Now that they knew Ralph was outside and Mrs. Pearl was home, the children crept out of their hiding places. Mrs. Pearl went outside to talk to Ralph. She wanted to tell him he was wrong in tricking the children and that he should never come back. When she got outside, she saw him peering into the well. When she called out to him, Ralph jumped at the sound of her voice, lost his footing, and fell into the well. The children ran out, but there was nothing they could do to help. Now, Mrs. Pearl and her children knew that Ralph would not be bothering them anymore.